Several hectares of previously forested land lay bare, while hundreds of sacks of charcoal stand on the roadside and in the bushes. To the landowners and traders, it's money. To environmentalists, it's a painful sight. That is the picture you get when you move across some areas in the Acholi sub-region, particularly in Noya district, where landowners have leased their land to businessmen to cut trees. Just this week, a family led by Lieutenant Colonel Francis Achuarongom gave an ultimatum of two weeks to the tree cutters to vacate their land or face forceful eviction. This is after one of their family members leased over 500 acres of their 1,000 acres for charcoal burning at just over 2 million shillings to these men. May I give you two weeks, not too much. Finish the only thing and the pack will leave. Two weeks, not more than that. No, no, I'm telling you before God, whether you like it or not, two weeks. The traders who get the lease bring in labor force from as far as Mutiana district. After buying, the owner of trees give us the trees and we, we are allowed to work until we finish the area which we have bought. Area leaders including MPs have made attempts to stop the practice but this has not been successful as the land is owned by individuals. And this practice is wide, widespread. These businessmen come from as far as uh, Kisoro, Rukungiri, all other parts of the country. And they have descended in this area in hundreds. You have heard that in this particular village alone, there are over 300. District environment officials say they are also constrained by manpower shortage and the Forest Act that gives landowners the right to use the trees in their land. The few who have been granted permission to uh, burn the charcoal, but then the license has expired. And uh, my presence on ground is being constrained by the workload in the office. But amidst all this, is the danger of an impending environmental disaster. Moses Akena, NTV Weekend Edition.